Ah, we meet again, traveler. What brings you here to Inazuma? Me? Yeah, I remember seeing you come aboard the ship a few times during the festival. I was also surprised that I got to see Venti again. Though, he simply wanted to drink alcohol with the others. Captain Beto told him to sit in the no-drinking zone with me. He kept begging me to tell her to change her mind, but there was simply nothing I could do about it. As for my reason for coming back here, though it's too early, it's almost cherry blossom season here in Inazuma. But, seeing that it was Valentine's Day, maybe I was the lucky one today. By that, I mean, coincidence or not, finding you in this nation out of the others, I can finally give you this. It's nothing really, but at the same time a bit embarrassing. Here, I'll let you accompany me for a little bit. I just have to talk with one of the shopkeepers in the middle section of the city. Come on. Huh? No, no. Don't worry about it. It's not damaged. I simply wanted to give it to you properly. They were wrapping it up, handing it to you, watching you open it, and then seeing the happy reaction on your face. <laughs> Sorry. Just imagining it makes me think how cute you really are, my little leaf. Well, it's not much, but we're heading to Olegusan's textile shop. I know that she also sells some fabrics too, but it might take a while. You see, some of the designs on them are really beautiful, so it's hard to pick out just the perfect one. That reminds me, actually. It's been so long since we just hung out. I might have forgotten some things that you liked. Can you remind me of your favorite color again? No. Not at all. I know whenever we meet up... After months, you most likely... Tell me tales of your adventures. Honestly... I can't really remember the last time that you talked so casually like this. It's refreshing in a way. Hold on. This might be abrupt, but do you mind waiting for me down there? I know it'll take me a while, but at least I know that you're nearby. Yes, right over there. We both know that this isn't how the game is supposed to start, my dear Watson. Man alive, you really have to be aware of your surroundings sometime. Consider this as your lesson for today. <laughs> Surprised to see little old me show up, hmm? Though, keep this as a secret between us. Sa. Oida, Ivo. Well, technically, since we're near the police station, it would be best if my superior didn't find out that I'm actually skipping work today. No. You might as well know that Madame Cujo is a formidable woman, as you can tell, yes? She wanted the rest of us doshin to work on this holiday. Crazy, right? Aside from that, happy Valentine, Ivo. Well, I know I should be doing proper etiquette and waiting for White Day, but 
That's gonna be another month of waiting. I mean, when will be the next day I get to see you in Inazuma? Along with when I don't have any cases to solve. Hmm? Is this the first time that you ever heard of such a date, dear partner? Well then, allow me to educate you a little. <laughs> you see, for us Inuzumans, and some other nations, today is a day where the girls get to tell their feelings to guys. As for White Day, it's the same concept, but it's just that the men are telling their answers, whether the feelings of the innocent maidens are returned or not. Huh, is that so? Well, I'll just follow how you celebrate Valentine's, Watson. My apologies for taking so long. <laughs> and? I see that you have kept yourself certainly entertained while I was gone. Oh my. I didn't know that you've come back to Inazuma, Kaidahara. Man alive. I shouldn't have hesitated. If Kaidahara didn't have such impeccable timing, then I would have already made you my friend there. Hmm? No. Wait. What I meant to say is that I'm alright, really. Don't worry about me too much, dear partner. Unless... <laughs> Aww, you care about me so much. Now I know that you love me. <laughs> How about the three of us get some food at Uyu restaurant together? Don't be fooled by Shikanoin's happy-go-lucky facade. Even though he isn't working on a case right now. His focus is razor sharp, and it seems that he cast it on you. Lucky for me he didn't hear what you said. Ah, if he did, he would tease me about it nonstop, not letting me live it down. Say, Kaidahara, what was that all about, hmm? What are you talking about, Shikanoin? It's no use playing dumb with me. Don't think you're that slick for an ex-criminal. I saw that look on your face <laughs> as I was teasing the travel moments earlier. Yet, you don't want to admit that you were perhaps jealous. Well... You can't escape from my intuition, Kaidahara. Mm. Because I'll be able to get the truth out of you, by any means necessary. You think that I'm jealous? That's funny coming from you, Shikanoin. Even though you were mumbling under your breath earlier, I heard you clearly. And let me say, I won't let your plan come to fruition. You don't want to test me. Or else, you're going to be the one to regret your choices. Oh, please. It's going to be you who's the one challenging me, regretfully. I can dodge your measly attacks so simply that you'll run out of things to throw at me. And you know very well that I'm telling the truth on that matter, don't you, Shikanoin? Do you want to tell them, or should I? I'll tell them. Traveler, if you haven't noticed yet, both of us have feelings for you. We were trying to see who would be able to win your heart first. Please, open my gift first. I've made this little hair ornament for you. It's supposed to represent two different leaves drifting in the wind. A maple and a ginkgo one. A bit cheesy, but I wish for our relationship to grow even more. Hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just putting it in your hair for you. And... done. Mm -hmm. Even I must say that you have some good taste, Kadahara. However, it's my turn to give my present to Watson. Hi. 
Tatis has a dagger and she's dead.